What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Super Power Review. I'm super excited today because not only am I pumped on caffeine and punk rock music, but today I got a special surprise for you guys. Right in front of me, ooh, this thing's icky. <laughs> right in front of me is a time capsule of comic books. And to my understanding, this thing has not been open for like 25 to 30 years, okay? So, backstory. Let me tell you the backstory on this thing. So, uh, my mom has a friend who uh, knew that I liked comic books, and she knew that she had comics stored away somewhere from her husband's collection, and just dropped it off one day, wanted me to look at it, see if there was anything of value in it. So I said, yeah, let me check that out. She wanted, to, she wanted to pay me for it, but I was like, no, like me looking at this is already my payment. So, uh, so today we're going to be on an adventure, guys. So we're going to look at this thing together. Uh, we're going to see if there's anything cool, which I'm sure there is because comics. And then uh, another goal would be maybe to find something that I could possibly buy. So um, before we look at this thing, um, I already can tell that none of the books in here are bagged and boarded which is a damn shame. I'm gonna put these gloves on because I have no idea what's on these books. All the cellar dust and God knows what is on these things. <sighs> We're gonna play doctor <laughs> with comic books. All right, let's throw this thing open. Bam! Oh, ooh, 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 it just, <laughs> that, that smell just like punches you right in the face. Ooh, that's strong, that's, that's some odor. Look at this. We got a New England Comics bag. Look at that. That's uh, one of the shops I go to in, uh, in New Bedford. There's one in Boston, Brookline, Quincy, and Brockton. I wonder how old this thing is. The New Bedford one is not even on here. And look, got a cool Batman bag. All right, there's nothing in here. Let's throw it out of the way. Oh, oh, we, we already have something cool over here. This is a pretty big book already. Look at this, guys. Guys, look at this. This is a hot book right now. Look at that. An Eternals number one. It's, uh, it's pretty destroyed, but uh, what, what, what can you do? Look, we got a corner bend here on the, on the corner here. Got a bend, we got a big massive corner rip. If this thing were to get graded, I would say this thing would maybe be like a 2.0 maybe. 1.8, maybe, I don't know. Okay, that's pretty exciting already. The Eternals, the first appearance of the Eternals, what year is this? I think this is 87. Uh, 1976, I was way off. <laughs> Samsonite. <laughs> uh, we got a Mad TV book. Also, guys, if you see anything in here that I do not pick up on and it's uh, some value, please leave a comment in the comment section. What do we got here? We got uh, Fighting Marines. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of military books in here. So um, I have no idea what that is. I don't even know who makes that. Hey, look what we got here. We have a Mr. Miracle number three. That's pretty cool. That's exciting. That is really exciting, actually. And, um, ooh, look at the back of the book. Look how brown that is. Yikes. But that's a pretty cool cover. I like, I, I like how um, it's got that vintage uh, antique look to it because it's so old and decrepit and not taken care of. See, this is, again... Okay, I'm gonna say this one more time. This is why I tell you guys to bag and board your things in Mylar because if these things were in Mylar, these things would probably not be brown. Uh, they would not have the dirt on them and the decomp decomposition on these books wouldn't be as bad. So these books would be uh, in pretty nice shape. We got Monster Hunters. I'm actually gonna put this Master Miracle on the good side over here with that Eternals book. And then uh, look at this cover, Ghost Stories. Look, a book for 35 cents. Man, don't you wish your weekly pulls were 35 cents or 20 cents like back in the day? You guys would be like doing quadruplets on some books. Look, 25 cents, uh, Dagger the Invincible. That's a pretty cool cover. That kind of looks like He-Man a little bit. Ooh, I like this one. Uh, here is a X-Men, the Uncanny X-Men number 114. Um, 
if this book was in very fine uh, near mint, I think this book would go for about 40 to 50 bucks. But uh, the spine is a little bit rough. Uh, the back is rough. And it's really, really dirty. Who did the artwork on this? Let's see if I can find out really quick. Oh, look at the interior pages too, though. I might want to snag this one. This one I might want to snag, especially if it's got Wolverine in it, Colossus, a classic X-Men team. I'm going to put this on the good panel. Uh, ooh, here is a comic book that people bought hundreds of or, or by the hands full because they thought this was going to pay for their kids' college <laughs> back in uh, 1992 when Superman died and they came in this bag okay and inside is a poster i believe a you know the the comic book and some kind of like uh headband or armband you know what people used to wear for like funerals i think something like that uh these are going for about 10 to 15 dollars in the bag these days and it looks like he's got another one here oh this one's opened this one's open i don't I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to take everything out, though. I think I want to leave everything as is because I want to respect the collection. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. That's that's crap. That's crap. Ooh, here we go. Oh, guys, maybe this is a hint of what's to come in here. This is an Incredible Hulk number two zero nine. Is there a Hulk one eighty or one eighty one in this bin? I don't know, we're gonna have to keep digging. We're gonna have to find out. If there is, today is gonna be crazy. <laughs> That's something I would definitely buy. Here is a Daredevil number 134. That's a pretty nice looking cover. I like that background, that's pretty cool. Um, actually, I'm gonna put these things onto the side here. All right, let's skip ahead real quick. Anybody into the Phantom? No, maybe? Let's just, that looks like that's painted. More Phantom, bunch of Phantom stuff. Here's a cool one, that's a cool cover. Here's another cool one. Here we have a Defenders number 32 with a really cool uh, skull, like Grim Reaper kind of guy here. Not sure if that's anything, that's probably like a $5 book probably. And then we got, ooh, ooh, this is pretty cool. We got Luke Cage, Power Man, annual number one. That's pretty exciting. 50 cents. Man, again, can you imagine if books were pocket change these days? People would go crazy at the comic book store. Here is a uh, Black Panther number two. That's also very exciting. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put that on the cool side. Here we have a all new, all different X-Men Death Siege featuring, oh, we got a uh, we got Juggernaut on the cover, so that could be pretty exciting as well, but I don't think that's still anything. I think that's uh, maybe uh, a dollar book. All right, here we have a Warlock number 13. So, so far um, we, we're getting a, a good amount of Marvel books. We're getting a good amount of DC books, and we're also getting a good amount of, you know, f uh, war books. And ooh, 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 here's something that I like. <laughs> we got Godzilla, King of the Monsters. <laughs> uh, number 16 from Marvel Comics, when Marvel Comics did uh, Godzilla. That's pretty cool, and we have another one right here too. Oh, here's something you guys might like. Here is the Savage of, of Conan, the Barbarian. That's a really cool cover. I know a lot of people collect Conan, and Conan has uh, gotten pretty big now these days. A lot of people are digging Conan. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Here we have a Fantastic Four number 163. Really digging the colors on these books. Guys, okay, Cody, get a close-up of my hand right here. Look how dirty these comic books are. Do you see the dirt on my thumb here? <laughs> That's why I decided to wear gloves today, okay? Here's a cool one. Here's another cool one. Here we have a Daredevil, the man without fear, number 143. Daredevil getting, getting attacked by a lion. 
How does a blind man fight a lion? How does he do it, folks? I want to know. Here is a Jonah Hex number 38. Jonah Hex is uh, something that needs to come back from DC because I feel like uh, he's been in the vault a little too long. I know they had a movie of him, like, what, early 2000s? But I feel like they need to bring Jonah Hex back out in theaters. Here is a Thor, the mighty Thor 247. Still really cool books. I, again, I gotta say, guys, to say that these things have just been in here with no bags, this is, um, this is pretty impressive. Man, but this thing smells, though. <laughs> oh, it smells like, smells like must. Daredevil, number 133. Daredevil being all acrobatic and whatnot, jumping from building to building. All right, here's a really cool cover right here. I really like the light effect on this cover. Here is a Marvel premiere featuring Black Panther, number 51. That's some really cool artwork with the yellow highlights on the Black Panther. That's pretty cool. Look at all these books, man. <laughs> Probably not the best way to be piling books, but uh, we're doing this on the fly. Here is a Challenge of the Unknown, number 287, featuring Dead Man and that looks like the Swamp Thing to me. Here is a Incredible Hulk 208. Where's my 181? <laughs> I already have the feeling that we're not going to see a Hulk 21 in this bin. Uh, here is The Power of Warlock, number 14. The Tomb of Dracula, Lord of Vampires, number 66. I really, uh, I would like to start picking up the uh, classic Dracula comic books by Marvel. I would like to start doing that. I would like to get more horror books in my collection. Uh, I just don't know where to start, but I guess, you know, that silly question is, is you just start with collecting of whatever you like. All right, guys, so um, nothing much else in here, just more Conan books. So I'm going to declare that there is nothing of value in this comic book bin. The only thing that is pretty sad is this Eternals number one. That was pretty cool that that was just sitting like right up top right there. That's that's pretty cool. The colors still present really nice, but you know, it's got that corner bend. It's got that tear on the corner and the back is just kind of trash too. Let me see what the inside looks like here. So page quality, not that good either. That's definitely off white pages. Again, I'm not a professional grader, but I'm just going my opinion, I guess, on what I think that book would get. So guys, uh, that was a fun adventure. Look at these gloves. Look at them. So gross. <laughs> so guys, uh, that's going to do it for today's video. I really enjoyed uh, showing you guys these books on this fun adventure and just, you know, going back. It's really cool to look at other people's collection because you kind of want to see what uh, what they were collecting, what they were interested, and you know, it's it, again, it's like going back in time. It's really cool. So if you enjoyed anything that you saw in this video, be sure to smash that like button. And for more fun episodes like this one, for future episodes, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that bell notification button as well. That's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. I can't snap my fingers with gloves. <laughs>